I am learning to be grateful for each moment. But I am well aware that this today will very quickly join the history class full of yesterdays. So before that does, my friend, join me in a journey. Allow me to share something with you. Time. It can fly and promises to heal all of our wounds. We try to make it, save it, kill it, and there is never enough of it. Time. It's what stops everything from happening all at once, making sense of past through to present and the future into now. It's later and it's sooner. Time. It's what measures the duration of pain and joy and everything in between. It's awful, but it's lovely. It's gracious and it's mean. Time. It's like the wind. It lifts the light to float with it, while leaving the heavy to curse the rushing breeze. And I'm even convinced that time stops when you really have to sneeze. Time. It seems to rule all aspects of our lives, and has been the endless fascination for every creed and every nation throughout all of time. It seems to vary from place to place, but I have yet not come to a place where it does not intermingle and interlace itself into everything. And the mysterious thing is that time is completely personal, but at the same time, completely public. Every second is ascribed solely to you, but that self-sold moment is for the rest of us too, so it doesn't matter who you are or what you pursue. Time does not discriminate, so please do not misconstrue. We all face life at 60 minutes an hour. And then time seems to pester only man, because bird and bee seem so free from the tick-tock time bob mentality that plagues you and me. You see a hummingbird can flap its wings 90 times in a single second. Those wings are spun of silver, emerald, and gold, and these little tiny creatures are hearts to behold, with angelic features and colors so bright, they propel imagination to a new delight, and there is magic in the way they flit through the sky. They appear and they vanish in a blink of an eye. But if you think that's oppressive, friend, consider a fly. Because those buzzing buggers beat their wings at more than 1,000 times a second. <laughs> now, I'm no fan of a fly, but let's admit that's pretty impressive. Nonetheless, because the average mayfly has a lifespan of 30 minutes, if I were ever limited to such extent, I could only ever be content by cramming every minute with 60 seconds well spent. So that begs the question, how are you spending Allow me to suggest you to stop. Stop waiting for some dream day when you'll get a fresh start. Let loose the wild things you keep locked up in your heart. And stop hoping to make it if you do nothing about trying, because we are all heading towards death. So what are you doing about dying? Stop talking about killing time while time And every second is as precious as life itself. So my friends, thank you for spending a little bit of your life 